happy people i'm back with another video and today i have another press on nail review slash haul for you guys i'm super excited uh bt art box was kind enough to reach out to me again to review some more of their press on nails y'all know i had an amazing time working with their press on nails i'm going to leave the video for my previous review linked in the description box because y'all their press on nails are bomb.com i wanted to show you all some new press ons that they sent me they really enjoyed my last video so they wanted to send me some more so let's look at what goodies i got Ooh. Okay, so first I want to read the card here. It says, say hello to your new nails. Okay, and then this is a cute little thank you card that they've included here in the box. So I really like that. Um, so yes, y'all, these are super cute. So they did allow me to pick out um, a couple of designs. And what I will say, first thing off the bat that I'm noticing is they have new packaging. I am here for it. That is really cute they still have kind of like that zebra print but they changed it to like this purple and teal blue and i am loving it y'all yeah so just like the old packaging it does have the instructions on how to prep apply and use the press on nails um and they are reusable which is really nice and um i really like this new box that they put it in it's it's of uh, a sturdier material which is really nice so let's take a look at all the designs i got so these are some really cute pretty glitter ombre on a nude nail and y'all know i've been working on my ombres i'm not so good at it so i definitely wanted to get some press ons that had that so i got these i also got here these really cute blue and purple butterfly press ons and i love the shape of these i forgot to mention so these are kind of like a medium almond these here are a short square super cute really love that design i also have a short almond it's a matte french tip with new different nudes absolutely love that and then the last one here which is really gorgeous as well is a medium coffin and it is the croc prints so yeah y'all these are the four designs that i got um absolutely loving the new packaging that they have i'm loving the designs that they're coming out with i think they're very cute very wearable very everyday you know so i am going to go in and take a closer look at i'm gonna take a closer look at these right here and i'm just going to show you all what comes in the packaging okay so okay i think they i feel like they changed the design a little bit too Oh, okay, they did some different things with this, all right? <laughs> I'm liking the updates they did already. So I feel like the packaging is a little bit different. I feel like this was in a Ziploc bag last time and now it's kind of made into it. So we got the nail file, the cuticle stick, and then when you open this up, right? Oh, that's nice. They got the nails, and nail tips in a bag, which I actually really like that. And then it comes with the prep pad. It comes with the user manual instructions, which is nice. That is always good when they include the instructions of how to use it, okay. And then it also comes with the BT Art Box glue. Now, y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I really like this nail glue. I actually have been using it pretty frequently. This is the one that came in the old kit. Y'all can see it's used and loved. Um, I've been using this nonstop since I got it with my first set of press on nails that I got from them. So yeah, their nail glue is really good. I actually highly recommend it. And it does work. Um, if you all watched my previous video, um, I did do one hand with the nail glue and one hand with builder gel. And both hands lasted well over a week so yeah um that stuff's really good so i know it works so i'm happy to have more of their nail glue even though it's in a small tube maybe i'm gonna take any of it that i can get okay and then i see here that they also updated their nail tabs i'm very impressed with this you guys because they have put the numbers on the nail tabs and when i say this makes your life so much easier I'm so happy to see more and more companies starting to do that because it just takes all the guesswork out of it for us. Um, you know, when you're trying to figure out, cause once you have your nail, once you have the actual nail tip sized out, you're able to go ahead and just put, you know, uh, associate whatever number it is with the tab. So I love that they did that. Um, and then let me just show you all the press on nails up close. Oh yeah, these are nice. Okay, so this is what the press on nail looks like up close. I mean, this is absolutely stunning. I love that nude 
and I love that glitter so oh man this is nice quality it's thin but uh, sturdy at the cuticle which is something that you actually want in a press on nail because when it's thinner at the cuticle area it lends to a more natural look on the nail bed and then the tip is nice and strong these tips don't wear down easily at all so uh, BT Art Box they did let me know that these press on nails are made from like a handmade process which I think is really cool so there's actually like a soft gel tip then there's a base coat then the color of the gel and then they do a building gel finish on top so because they use that process right it doesn't lead to like any fading or chipping or splitting and I can really attest to that because I've done a full wear test with these press on nails before and they didn't fade they didn't chip and they didn't split so these are some really really high quality press on nails I love that the tip is made with gel so that's probably why they lasted so long so I am going to take off the nails that I have on here if you all are curious about how I created these looks I will have full tutorials for both of these sets link down in the description box below okay happy people I am back and um, um, I've decided to go in with these really pretty blue butterfly nails. The end of summer is here and um, this is probably going to be my last like big summer mani. And then also um, I actually don't have time to do my nails right now. Um, my little one, uh, she fell and suffered an injury and so um, I won't have an opportunity to do my nails for a little while. So press-ons are going to be my savior right now. Um, and so this is what my nails are looking like right now. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, file shape buff my nails off camera. I was in the process of prepping my nails and I realized uh, it might just be helpful to just show you guys what I'm doing. So I did go ahead and already push back my cuticles. And I just went in with my cuticle bit around all of my cuticles and just filed off all the dead skin. And so I was getting ready to clip my nails and come on here and show you guys. So I'm just going to clip my nails down really short. Um, so that they don't show underneath the press on nails. My goal is to use um, all the products that have come in this particular kit for this look. I did get a couple of requests from a few subscribers on how I apply my press on nails with the adhesive tabs. And so I'm going to use everything that came in this kit. One thing that I'm noticing that they did with this particular set, which I think is pretty cool, is that I think they put like the most common used sizes here. And it's nice because the sizes that are here match. So these two were like a four, these two were like a five, these two were like a seven. So I'm thinking they actually put what they thought would be everyone's size here, which is kind of cool. Um, unfortunately, those aren't my sizes. So I'm gonna go through and see if I can find mine. So I was reading the instructions on here. One of the cool things about these press on nails is that um, um, from my last video, I gave some really important tips on how to make sure your uh, press on nails last for an extended period of time. And BT Art Box really liked the tips. And so they said that, um, they said that they would be um, also including those tips um, in their press on nails moving forward. And so they actually did put some of my tips in here, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so the first one is to apply, before applying, you should your nails are completely dry, clean, and oil-free. When applying nail tips, please press hard for 90 seconds to remove air inside, and they will be stronger. And then the third tip is actually the tip that I recommend, I typically recommend on my press on nail videos, and is it's recommended to wear it before going to bed at night and do not touch um, the water for one hour after wearing it. So these are tips that I normally do to ensure that my press on nails last a long time. So it's kind of cool that they included that in here. Um, and again, it says avoid work with nails for five minutes, avoid contact with water for one hour. That's definitely one of my tips. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool that they included that because that really does um, help with the longevity of your nails. So I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, and do the adhesive tabs. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just go through and just kind of file the sides of my nails. When I'm doing press on nails, I do taper the sides of my nail in as much as possible so that when I apply the press on nails, like my natural nail isn't hanging out the side. Um, so I'm gonna go through and do that. Um, with the file that's included and then I'm also going to go ahead and buff the surface of the nail the nails have been file shaped and buffed I'm just gonna go in with my manicure brush and dust everything away okay so now I'm gonna go in with the prep pad which is just an alcohol pad really and I'm gonna wipe away all the dust and debris from my natural nails. And I normally go through and I wipe my nails down twice just to make sure I got everything off of the nails. It's weird, that, that prep pad feels a little bit sticky, which is different for me. 
I wonder what they used in it. I wonder if that's supposed to help with the adhesion. There might be some new technology that, that they're working on. So now I'm gonna go in with all my nails that have been prepped. What I do, like I said, like about these nails is they did go ahead and put the sizes on here, okay? And so I am gonna go ahead and find my size. So the first one here is a size five. So I'm gonna just apply five to my index finger. And I'm gonna apply it near the cuticle, but not on the cuticle, okay? And then I'm gonna press down side to side, and then just make sure there are no air bubbles on the nail, okay? So that's good. All of the adhesive tabs have been applied. Now I'm gonna go in and just remove all of the tabs here. Okay, and I do see that I have some that's kind of like hanging off. I think I'm going to go ahead and just clip that off for now. Hi, Yara. Hi, Yara. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. You doing okay? your arm it's okay oh, okay your mommy's coming let me just slap these nails on and you got my undivided attention baby girl okay okay yeah okay all right so my little one is here and like I said, she did suffer a little bit of an injury. She is doing okay. Um, I didn't want to worry you guys. She is all right. Um, we actually have an appointment today, so I'm going to just go ahead and get us ready for that. Um, but I'm going to just slap these nails on really quick. That's the luxury of press-on nails. So I'm going to start at my index finger. One of the things you want to do when you're doing press-on nails is slightly tuck the nail underneath the cuticle. I found that that's the best way for me to get um, even longer wear out of my nails. So I'm going in here at the cuticle and then just kind of slightly slightly tucking the nail underneath and then just pressing down okay and then I'm gonna go through and do that to all the nails take the nail at the cuticle slightly tuck it underneath and then press down okay one more time I'll take it at the cuticle all right slightly tuck it underneath and then press down and this is what I found the best way to apply press on nails to last with adhesive tabs, well actually with any of application methods, slightly tucking it underneath the cuticle is like the key, you know? And so then I'm gonna go ahead and slightly tuck it underneath this nail too, like so, and then just press down, okay? They can last for two weeks with adhesive tabs. I have had it happen. Tip number one is continue to press them down for the next hour. Tip number two is avoid water for the next two to four hours. Minimum, at least one hour, don't get your hands wet, but the longer you can go without submerging them in water, the better the adhesion is gonna be. And tip number three is do not use any cuticle oil because if the oil gets underneath the nail and the tab, it's gonna pop right off. So if you follow these steps, you should be able to get your nails to last for about two weeks. One of the biggest things that helps me with, especially with using adhesive tabs, is to apply them right before bed. Um, I, I am applying them first thing in the morning, but I should be able to not get my hands wet for like the next hour or two. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yeah. I am absolutely loving how the Manny turned out, y'all. I'm loving the cute short square situation. That blue is absolutely beautiful and those butterflies are giving. And my little one agrees, okay? <laughs> I actually did have a really quick tip. In the event that you all have the adhesive tabs underneath the nails that go out further than the nail bed, what you could do is just take some clear powder and a fluffy brush and just um, kind of tap that powder underneath the nail. That way, um, you know, debris and gunk and stuff doesn't um, actually build up underneath the nail. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that to all of the nails really quick. That way um, I don't have to worry about, you know, debris, debris and dirt and such getting underneath the nails. So that's also another quick little tip, okay? 
So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and do a wear test and um, I will be back in maybe like a couple of days uh, to a week and let you all know how these press on nails are holding up. Yes, Yara. Yes, all right, here I come. All right, I gotta go, so I will talk to y'all soon. Okay, happy people, I am back. It is exactly nine hours later. Nails are on, there's no lifting or anything like that. On this hand, I rushed the application process, and on the thumb, I did not properly apply my adhesive tab, and the corner of the nail caught on the lid of my trash can. I was taking out the trash, and it's already lifting. Because of my lack of application with applying them properly, I wasn't able to get it tucked underneath the cuticle. It is lifting. So. I want to give these nails their best fighting chance um, and then also at the tip here there's a little bit of wear or tear again I've been pretty rough on these nails already I'm really putting them through the rinker to see how good they actually are which I know they're really good because you know I've tested these nails before um, but I did notice that there is some wear and tear of the color at the tip of the nails already that's just on the right hand not on the left hand I am going to go ahead and remove this right so I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this off Okay, like so. So yeah, this shows me that was on there pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this with maybe like some acetone or something. And then what I'm gonna do is go through and just kind of file the tips of all the nails and then go in with some base and top coat just to make sure that the design stays put. I wasn't gonna apply anything at all, but I can see that it's wearing ever so slightly. So um, off camera, I am gonna go ahead and just um, put this nail back on with another adhesive tab that came in the kit as well as just apply a layer of base and top coat just to make sure that the tips wear nice through over, over the next week or so. I'm gonna be taking care of, you know, some family members that's going for surgery as well as my daughter who recently injured herself and so I just want to make sure I don't have to worry about my nails <laughs> during that process so yeah y'all um I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back with an update okay happy people I am back with an update it is exactly seven days later since I applied these press on nails I want to give you all a quick close-up of what they are looking like they are holding up really strong you guys none of the nails have popped off they're all still intact. On this hand, none of the nails are, are loose. They're all still feeling really nice and secure. Over here, this is the nail that got caught in the trash can um, a few hours after I did my set, so I put on a new tab. This one has been kinda sorta loose um, the whole time I've had this set on, but it hasn't popped off. So that lets me know that, you know, it's it, it, it holds up well. Um, and then the rest of the nails, none of them are really loose. Like this one's slightly loose at the cuticle, but not really, but the rest are, they're on really good. So I have no doubt in my mind, you guys, that these would last a whole two weeks. They would for sure hold up. There is a little bit of new growth here at the cuticle area. And even on this thumbnail, you can see some new growth as well. Um, on this nail, there's also new growth. Um, so yeah, that, I mean, the nails are holding up quite nicely overall. I am getting ready to do a set on this hand, so I'm going to go ahead and remove them. So I do think that for sure the BT Art Box gel press on nails are really great. I like these. These are some really high quality press on nails. I'm very impressed with them. Um, I've tried them with builder gel and now with the sticky adhesive tabs and I also tried them with the nail glue that comes in the kit. All of these methods last a week plus, and so yeah, I would highly recommend these. I do have a discount code with BT Art Box. My discount code is ROSE15, so I will leave that here on the screen as well as in the description box below for 15% off of your order if you all decide to purchase any of these, and I will say that I do highly recommend them. But yeah, y'all, I have been through it with these nails. Um, I actually um, had to take some time off. Um, still am taking time off actually. Um, I, I don't know if y'all have noticed the difference in my upload schedule. I mentioned that in a previous thir Nail Therapy Thursday premiere that I just had a lot of injuries happening in the family and so I've been needing to take time off to tend to my family and then work projects are getting kind of crazy but yeah I did do some things with these nails I'm gonna try to insert pictures here so that you all can see them but I did end up having to go to the urgent care with my daughter when she injured herself and then I went for her follow-up appointment when they put a brace on her arm and then I actually went to a virtual reality Megan the Stallion concert with these nails on and so I will leave like I said pictures of all of these things that I have went through with these nails on the screen as well as working as well as you know cleaning cooking bathing babies showering all that good stuff these nails have held up to all of it without further ado I am going to go ahead and pop these off 
I am going to go ahead and start off with the um, thumbnail since that's the one that's most loose. And yeah, you just kind of break the seal there and then the nail will pop right on off like so. And so on the um, box, it does say that these nails are reusable. And honestly, if you guys wanted to use these nails again, all you'd have to do is go in with your cuticle stick and remove that glue that's on the inside of the nail. And once you got all of it out, you could totally reuse these nails. So I actually am going to keep these nails because I think they're really cute and they wore really nicely. So if I you know decide to wear them again I can but yeah they're totally reusable as well so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and finish popping the rest of these off here just so you guys can see how easy the removal process is um, and as you all can see it's not easy to just like flick them off Oops, there we go it broke um, it's not easy to just flick them off so that lets me know that they would have definitely lasted for another week or so so y'all see how it kind of have still has some give to it so let's see I'm going to put it underneath here and pop off like so put it underneath here uh -huh. and then pop off like so put it underneath here and then pop off like so so yeah, and then with what's remaining on your nails, you can choose to either roll them off, which is what I typically do. I normally just roll the old glue off, or you can use some acetone and take it off. All in all, again, I would highly recommend these press-on nails. I do currently have a press-on nail series going on on my channel. If you all wanna check that out, I will leave it linked um, in the description box and then also in the cards. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursday in particular on my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.